A bill titled Housing for Heroes Act of 2023 was introduced by New York Representative Michael Lawler on December 19, 2023. This bill guarantees the ability for active duty military members, law enforcement officers in active service, and currently employed full-time firefighters to participate in the Good Neighbor Next Door Sales Program, regardless of any other laws. This bill also removes the need for a house to be located in a revitalized zone at all, which would allow them to purchase homes anywhere under these same rules. This program takes homes from what it calls revitalized areas, and allows eligible applicants, which currently includes kindergarten through high school teachers, EMTs, and full-time law enforcement officers, to apply for home loans with a minimum of $100 for a down payment. This program is run by the Department of Housing and Urban Development, also known as HUD. The Secretary of Housing and Urban Development will change any related regulations to accommodate for the new eligible members as stated in this bill. Primary Impact 2008 was not an easy time for the world, let alone the United States. There are many different texts detailing the events of this crisis which you may read on your own. I recommend The Financial Crisis and the Free Market Cure by John Allison. This is not a sponsorship, just a recommendation because what he says is valid and holds up to logical scrutiny. Government assistance of any kind causes inflation, and high-risk mortgages that flood the market, even in low-income areas, create bubbles, collections of unstable injection into a system that will burst if not controlled. If the inflation doesn't hurt us, the inflation will. Secondary Impact from personal experience, military members will view most housing purchases as investments, which is lends more to that bubble mentioned earlier since housing should be a consumption, not an investment. With the roaming nature of military members through PCS actions, this coupled with the VA loan and other home buying programs will cause a rapid chain effect of the issues already raised. The fact that this bill removes location restrictions makes amplification even more amplified. Tertiary impact, government programs mean government spending, which causes inflation and a burden on the taxpayers, all at the same time. Inflation has good and bad qualities, but forced inflation through programs usually end up in the bad category. Quaternary impact, the individuals that are currently eligible and those that are proposed by this bill do have incomes that are generally seen as low, especially when considered against the work that is being done. When taking into account the benefits that are given to these members, the pay is not bad, but it is still not ideal. This program could give those deserving members the ability to acquire housing at affordable rates, potentially with appropriate living conditions. I would like to take this time to apologize for the error made on the last video covering House of Representative Bill H.R. 7475. I stated the bill was introduced on December 8, 2024 when it is actually February 28, 2024. This may seem like a minor error, but accuracy is tantamount to legitimacy. I do not like making any errors, but I will. If you find any mistakes, either logical or clerical in nature, please respectfully point them out to me in the comments for all to see. I don't want anyone to miss out on the correct information. Thank you.